What's up everybody, we're back with Spyro 2 Reignited Trilogy. As you probably guessed, we're gonna visit we're gonna confront the first boss, Crush, in Crush's dungeon. At first it the boss's letterings were flowing above the hole. But let's not delay any further. Let's go confront Crush. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, my favorite homeworld. You might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the winter tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. There, that's the last orb in place. Now we're gonna visit that world. All we need are some coordinates. Eventually. Yeah. How about two two four seven five? <laughs> that's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't. What? You'll see why. Oh no. <laughs> why can't either of you? Where are we? Uh oh. No dragons? Wonderful. Uh -oh. Crush! Go back and pack my bags! We're moving in! Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Oh my, oh my! I can't see the switch! I think I've broken my glasses! Crush! Go through the portal, you idiot! <laughs> Tell your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Quickly! So that's how they ended up scattered through Avalar. Whoa. This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah. I, uh, would have gone after him, but didn't you say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Spiral 2 and 3, they talk about more of a science aspect with portals like alignment and unpowered portals. Here we go. We have to dodge these, or jump over these rings of fire. And when he's open, I have to flame them like that. All I have to do is repeat that six times. Easy boss fight. Jump. Oops. Jump too soon. Get him. Got him. Eventually, eventually he'll start chasing you. Oh yeah. Turn fire rings to fire balls, which are much more difficult to dodge. Ooh, did I just flame him in the crotch? Ouch. Man, Crush is so dumb. He doesn't see a bunch of rocks falling above him, he doesn't move. I know what I'm talking about. It's a kid's game. Yeah, see why I'm in about chasing me? Oh, I think it's gonna alternate now. 
between fireballs and fire rings. But I think it depends on what platform he's standing on. And when I was playing this game as a kid, I know I told a lot of stories about me playing this game as a kid. I always thought he was only like a big wooden club, but I know it's, now it's a meat stick. Now it's a meat stick or a drumstick. Because if you look closely, like there, you notice he's taking a bite out of it. And going back to that cutscene. Since it's a kid's game, it's kind of serious for Ripto to say, I'll kill you to the fairy. I mean, I even caught that when I was a kid. And when I was that young, I knew I was going to visit that home world in the cutscene right there. And we are going to visit it. But first, take down Gulp. I mean, Crush. Oh, so close. Like that. Come on, hit the ground. And while we have a little time, let's switch to the original music again. You know what, let's stay with Reignited because I want to see what the music sounds like in the cutscene after Crush is defeated. Of course, I gotta save the longest run for last. Hope I'm not making you dizzy by running around in circles. Yeah, I think he's. And he's defeated! Got that right. And with that, Summer Force is saved. Yes! Victory! But yeah, Gulp will be a much harder boss to defeat. But like I was saying, Ripto has some d dark lines for a kid's game. Like, make sure it's a painful death for Spyro, or I'll kill the fairy. But, we'll defeat him. If we ever get past this loading time. One of my favorite cutscenes right here. That Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. Oh, if Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, uh -oh. I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! No! <laughs> And we have another home world to save. And with that, we're in On Plains. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Oh, where's a freaking mouse? <laughs>